Well, good morning, everyone. I'm back there with Damien trying to find that case of Kentucky Ale, and I wasn't successful, so I guess we'll have to get started without it. I want to welcome you to the Alltech Young Scientists Award ceremony. This has been an exciting week for our young scientists. We have seven finalists representing four different regions from around the world, and they've had an opportunity to not only present their projects and tell us about what they're doing, showing their, their leader skills, but we've also had an opportunity to show them a little bit about what research is like and introduce them to the commercial aspects of, of what we do at Alltech as a research team. This is one of the world's largest and probably the largest competitions of its type. It's been in place for about 13 years now. We've been trying to generate interest during that period of time. During that period, we've had pretty close to 50,000 different competitors in this program. So you can see it's no small undertaking to understand exactly how you stimulate these young people to do the things they do and move into this exciting area of agricultural research. We have a number of innovative projects this year. We actually reviewed uh, projects from 89 different universities from around the world representing 29 different countries. So you can see it's a very international event and it takes a tremendous amount of time uh, from our staff to actually get through this, but it's very rewarding because we get a lot of new ideas and understand innovation a little bit differently when you start working with these young minds. The projects this year are quite varied. They went all the way from basic molecular biology, uh, proteomics, genomic type studies, down to very applied basic applications of science to systems that will maintain sustainability and improve productivity in both food and ag animal agriculture. So it's been a very exciting time to see what these young people can do. So let's get started. I'm going to ask you to welcome our finalists, first in the undergraduate category. The first is Ronald Trotta, excuse me, representing North America. The next is Juan Boll, representing Latin America. And finally, Lisa Joy Flanagan, representing the Asian Pacific region. The next group is our graduate finalists. The first is Zuli Gao, representing North America. Moses Poli, representing Latin America. Next is Yan Li Li, representing the Asian Pacific region. And finally, Sahid Salami, representing the European African region. So let's go right to it. Let's see who the winners are. We will start with the undergraduate winners. The undergraduate winners actually receive a $5,000 award, but in addition, they will receive a fully funded PhD program at the university of their choice and in a program that is consistent with the things that we do at Alltech. And the winner this year is Lisa Joy Flanagan, representing the Asian Pacific region. It's very heavy. Congratulations. Congratulations.
In the graduate area, these are a little bit more complex, more in-depth studies. The winner here will receive a cash prize of $10,000 and will be awarded funding to pursue a postdoc. And typically we do these within Alltech or within our group so that the student gets an opportunity to work with our scientists in a commercial area. Oops. The winner of this is Salami. Sahid Salami. I won't give you the envelope. Thank you, Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. This year we decided to add an additional award to our uh, assemble here. And the idea here was to reward projects that we feel would have a major impact on agriculture. Many of the projects we saw were very good, but some of them, if you look at them, say, man, this is really gonna change the way we think about agriculture and the way we grow our crops and think about food science in the future. So this is a special award that we're giving out this year representing this initiative. And the winner of this award is Moses Polly. Thank you, Thank you very much. Congratulations. Over here. Thank you. Congratulations. And I will add, this award comes with a $1,000 cash award. So that concludes our ceremony. I do want to remind you that the competition for next year is initiated in September of 2018. Most of our projects today are nominated by university professors. It gives us a chance to pre-screen some of these projects and only pick out some of the very best to start out with. But I would encourage you to think about this. If you have young people that you think would be uh, very good for this type of competition, let us know. We would be very anxious to have them join us up here. And we appreciate your support and the time you spent with us today. Thank you.